Hey friends, this is Brandon from Android Police, and if you haven't heard, Google recently announced a Reply app through its Area 120 beta program. Essentially, Reply is the features that you've found in Allo, but maybe not as good. And since many people just are on Allo, maybe this can be a, a helpful tool for us. Recently, they have launched it on some Android messaging platforms, specifically on Project Fi, and there's a link down below to an article about that. So if you're the type of person who likes looking at beta apps, this might be really cool for you. So let's check it out. It works in a variety of different apps. So if we check here, the ones that I have installed are Android Messages, the Facebook Messenger, Google Voice, Hangouts, Slack, Twitter direct messages in WhatsApp. I checked out Discord, it wasn't showing up there, and of course any of the private chat apps like Signal or Telegram are not in there. If you found other apps that work with this, go ahead and leave them a comment down below. And of course you can turn these on and off according to your preferences. So if you're part of the beta program, you can already download it from the Play Store like I'm doing right now, but if you're not a part of the beta, you can go to the APK mirror down below. That's something that is tested and is reliable. So when you open it for the first time, this is what it looks like. Get ready for blazing fast replies. So any sort of messages that you receive, you can respond automatically through that. So you can sign in with your Google account and now it'll ask for permission on whether or not it can have access to your notifications. So go ahead and hit continue. You'll see the different options that are there and then locate reply right here and then allow and there you go. And of course you want to activate location because that's some of the interesting parts of this whole app. So when you're setting up, go ahead and swipe over from the left and then you can set up different things like your home and work addresses. And this allows Reply to provide contextually aware responses based upon your location. So if someone asks, hey, when are you going to be home or when are you going to get to the office, it can provide a response to that. There's something here about a spam filter. I don't know how to make that work. There's one here for message screening. So you can also determine how your phone responds to certain things. So if you're in a vehicle, it'll automatically respond saying that you're in a vehicle. But let's be honest, like this is kind of obnoxious and weird. Why do you have to have an automatic responder just because you're driving? Most people can just wait and they have, and this just exacerbates the issue of having immediate response and gratification. So I would avoid it. Some of these are actually not even active either. If you click on one that says sleeping, I don't know how I'd figure that out, but it would tell you that you're interested in it, so it's a vote. So the only ones that seem to be working is vehicle, biking, and running. I imagine this is figured out either through the accelerometer or GPS. Okay, so one of the things that it can do is provide different smart replies depending on the context of the message that you receive. Okay, so here's an example. Jeff from Twitter just sent me a message asking, hey, what's up? And it provides three different options here. So all you have to do is tap on the one that you want, and then I'll send it to him. We can go check, <laughs> and it did not work because it's a, a, a beta. So here, there's that. Okay, so we'll reply with not much. How about you? He just asked me, when will I be at work? And so I can say, I'm leaving now. What's interesting is it is supposed to provide contextually aware responses to things like, how far away are you from work or home? And it uses GPS for that. But in my experience, it wasn't working. And so Jeff just asked me, what would I like? Pizza or Chinese food tonight? What's interesting though, is it's only giving me these three responses. It's not actually responding pizza or Chinese food. Apparently when they say it's urgent, it's supposed to play a sound on my phone. So the urgent one is supposed to provide a dedicated notification alert and sound. And in practice, it wasn't working for me. So in theory, there are some automatic replies that could be cool, but I haven't been able to get a single one of them to work. One can be a vacation responder. So based upon your calendar events on your Google calendar, it'll be able to tell that you're not available and respond accordingly. So you know what's funny is I can see all these autoresponders actually creating a lot of issues, especially if you're married, because they seem really kind of passive. So probably don't use these on your spouse or significant other. As you can see, most of the responses are not so great. They definitely feel very autoresponder-ish, if that makes sense. It's kind of robotic. And oftentimes it seems really kind of sarcastic or passive aggressive in some strange way. So maybe this is not the best thing to use for now. So what are your thoughts? What are your opinions? So my personal thoughts are it's not ready for prime time, but hey, that's why it's a beta. Hopefully Google's able to improve on it. I really generally believe that their machine learning and artificial intelligence services are really good, but this isn't it. Perhaps over time, it's able to become more focused, 
more helpful and perhaps more unified in terms of the different platforms that's on. Right now, Google's messaging kind of strategy is a mess. If you'd like to download the app and you're not a part of the beta program, go ahead and check out the APK Mirror link down below in the description. And what are some funny replies that you've had? Go ahead and leave some comments down below. I'll be down there to hang out with you guys. And if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like to stay updated on more Android Police news and videos, go ahead and click the video down below and subscribe. And if you'd like to watch more content from me, go ahead and click the image of me off to the side. Thanks for watching Android Police. Until next time.